everybody. My name is Jim Donnelly, technical agronomist with DeKalvin Asgro in Northern Illinois. And today we're coming at you from Rochelle, Illinois at our demonstration farm here just east of town. And uh, you know, so far this year we've received uh, quite a bit of rainfall. Of, for those of you that are in Northern Illinois uh, are well aware of that. Uh, but we've seen uh, a lot of rainfall right here at this location, maybe not as much, but uh, pretty much everywhere else uh, north of I-80 has received uh, more than enough rainfall uh, so far this year. Uh, the rest of the state probably really hasn't benefited from the amount of rainfall that we have. Uh, we haven't really had a dry stretch uh, you know, throughout the whole uh, uh, cropping year. So, uh, you know, we've really had above average rainfall uh, so far. So with that, generally when we get above average rainfall, we have to worry about, uh, you know, a lot of disease coming in the crop. A lot of times we've got a, a heck of a potential out there uh, in both crops for corn and beans, uh, but at the same time, uh, conditions that are good for corn growing is, is good for disease as well. So one in particular that I wanted to talk about today uh, is gray leaf spot. So we're seeing that coming in a little bit uh, earlier than normal this year for this region. Uh, I know downstate we've got reports of uh, you know gray leaf spot coming in pretty heavy already. Uh, and considering the amount of time that we have from now until harvest, that's uh, given you know a lot of time for gray leaf to to kind of move on. Uh, so this this particular region, we don't tend to have to worry about you know substantial amounts of gray leaf spot like maybe further south. Uh, just because of our uh, climate. Uh, but this year with the temperatures that we've had, uh, you know, the increased heat and all the rainfall, you know, it's something that we're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on. So kind of a background on gray leaf spot. Uh, it's a very important uh, foliar disease, uh, mostly because it can be found pretty much anywhere that corn has grown in North America. Uh, breeders have done a very good job at uh, selecting for uh, tolerance to the disease, uh, but the, the fact that it encompasses so many acres, it's still a, a very critical uh, disease to pay attention to. So gray leaf spot, uh, uh, scientific name Cercospora zeomatis, um, like I said, is pretty much found anywhere that corn is grown in North America. Uh, it tends to overwinter on residue. So fields that are corn on corn, uh, minimum tillage like strip till or no till tend to be a little heavier. Uh, so cultural practices can, can help aid there. Uh, but uh, as far as scouting you know, your fields this year, you wanna focus on your corn on corn fields uh, as well as some minimum tillage uh, fields as well. Um, so that's kind of, you know, gray leaf spot likes those conditions. At the same time, from an environmental standpoint, uh, gray leaf just, it, it really loves warm temperatures. And kind of where I was going at before, as the further north you go, we tend not to have as much gray leaf pressure. And that's simply because we tend to be a little cooler than, than further south. Uh, this year, with uh, the above average above normal temperatures that we've had that's really been ripe uh, for gray leaf spot and you combine that with a lot of free water uh, rainfall you know heavy dews i know i woke up this morning and it was just a very big haze uh, you know a lot of the corn plants had a lot of dew on them that's just ripe perfect conditions for gray leaf spot uh, as well as pretty much any other disease out there too um, so the the pump is primed uh, when it comes to gray leaf spot because we've got all those conditions going for us. Uh, so if we continue to get uh, consistent uh, rainfall from here on out, you know, that's something that we really need to, to keep an eye on going forward. Uh, from a management standpoint, uh, you know, there's really, uh, you know, a few things you can do. Obviously, I talked about cultural practices before, you know, making sure we're, we, we bury residue, uh, you know, minimize the, the impact that residue can have uh, for, uh, for inoculum. Um, you know, the other two things we can do uh, as far as in season for this year, you know, the main thing that we're looking at is, is the utilization of a fungicide application. Uh, you know, around here, we're, we're probably looking at V14 corn, uh, you know, this particular plot is probably uh, a week or so away from tassel, uh, but I know a lot of the places uh, downstate are, are already tasseling and approaching that, that time that we need to make those fungicide applications. Um, so, you know, from a timing standpoint, we're really looking at that VT uh, full tassel time frame to be making an application. 
Uh, so if you have fields that, uh, that you scout and you deem uh, have enough gray leaf spot in there to, to be a concern, you know, pretty much now is the time, once you get fully tasseled, uh, to be making those applications. So obviously in season, uh, you know, foliar applications of fungicides are going to be your, your main management uh, practice. Uh, again, looking forward, I mentioned cultural practices as well, uh, but also selection for hybrids that have very good tolerance uh, to gray leaf spot is also critical. Uh, so I mentioned before that breeders have done an excellent job at selecting hybrids with, with pretty good tolerance. Uh, so, so you need to make that a priority. Um, <clears throat> when you look at it from a DeKalb standpoint, uh, you know, DeKalb has developed uh, particular products uh, that we have labeled disease shield products. And those disease shield products, the way I describe them, are, are pretty much our stamp of approval on several different diseases and gray leaf spot is actually one of them. So, you know, when you're looking at uh, hybrids for next year, uh, you know, definitely take a look at the um, Disease Shield brand products as well as other products that we have or, that are very tolerant to gray leaf spot as well, okay? Uh, the Disease Shield products are, are tolerant to, to gray leaf spot uh, as well as four other additional diseases as well that give you adequate protection across the board on, on several different diseases. So disease, those disease shield products really aren't just focused on gray leaf spot, it's focused on several, uh, but, but gray leaf spot is definitely one of them uh, that, that we can focus on. So again, just to, to kind of summarize, you know, we've seen, you know, ab abundant uh, rainfall, perfect conditions for gray leaf spot in Northern Illinois and increasingly so for the rest of the state. So it's definitely something that we need to keep an eye on. Uh, if you have any questions with regards to gray leaf spot or, or any other disease for that matter or, or DeKalb Disease Shield products, uh, please feel free to, to post a comment in the comment section and we'll be happy to uh, address those questions for you.